Watch, I'm going to put it in high. Watch this sucker go in high, man. That thing is fast, dude. That thing is so fast. Hey Rad Reelers, JC here with Rad Reeling Fishing. We're doing something different today, you guys. Power Vision Underwater Drone. Yeah, we're gonna do some exploration with this. Thanks Power Ray for sending this over. Greatly appreciate you guys. Yeah, we're gonna drop this thing in the water and see if we can find some fish and just cruise around. This thing has a 4K camera on it. Now I've got it set at 1080p, 30 frames per second, but you can record in 4K. It's got 168 feet of cord, you guys, so we can get this thing way far away from the kayak. So I practiced with it in the pool the other day, and uh, yeah, I think I'm ready to give her a drop. So let's see how we do. We got our Wi-Fi there. We have to turn our remote on, our Wi-Fi is on, our drone is on. See if we can get our, we've got an app that I had to download. Let me see if I can get the app to connect to the Wi-Fi. There's quite a few steps to getting this thing set up. so. So we are recording. That's good. Let me go ahead and put the, we have to put the drone in the water before we start it. And uh, let's see if we can get this thing to start using the app here. Okay. We have power. We've also got a spaghetti mess down here at my feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and get all this stuff out in the water. Woo! <laughs> okay, there we go. See what we can see down there. Really don't have much happening on the screen here. I want to see some fish. I know there's some snappers over there. A little tricky knowing which direction this thing's going unless we get it up close to the top there we go now we're cruising over there to where i saw the snappers Let's see if we can get this thing to dive down i think it's diving against the current right now oh there's a there's some snappers i can see them on my uh oh cool dive it down yeah look at those snappers down there heck yeah baby lots of snappers Oh, that's so cool. So right now, I don't know where the drone's at. There it is, right there. All right, need to let some more cord out. You guys can see it up there. It just came to the surface. That's cool. Did you see all those snappers? That was way cool. See if I can get it back over there where those snappers are at. Come on, drone, turn. There it goes. Oh guys, I'm down by the bottom. Look at that. Oh, look at all the snappers. Dude, that is so cool. Whoa. It's a little, little tricky operating this thing. We found them. Oh my God, look at all the snappers under this dock. Holy smokes, man. That is so cool. And they don't seem to be spooked by it. Wow. I am like right in the middle of the school. All right, I, I got to bring it to the top because I don't know where it's at. Oh, there it is. It's right there. We're good. We're good. I'm diving it down to the bottom again. Oh my gosh, they're just... Hundreds of snappers down there. Hundreds of them. Oh my goodness, this is the coolest thing in the world. Whoa, I'm about to hit a piling. I found the piling, guys. <laughs> no sheep's head? Uh, I'm probably getting wrapped on the piling here. I need to bring it to the surface if I can. Or no, let's see if we can just get it away from there. Let's bring it up to the surface. 
we might be wrapped around the piling. Oh, there it is. Oh, that is so cool. All right, so we can bring it back to us. This thing also has a reverse on it. There it comes. I'm going to bring it back to the kayak. This thing is not working very good in the low mode. There it comes. That's that's medium. This thing will go fast, guys. That's in the medium setting right there. Oh, that's the coolest thing. Let's put it, that's the high setting. Look how fast this thing goes on high. Super fast. All right. I'm gonna put it back on medium. Let's head over there and see if we can find those snappers. Oh, there they are again. Snappers everywhere. Oh, it's the coolest thing in the world. This thing is just so awesome. Wow, I'm loving it. You guys that go offshore, man, this thing would be awesome. All right, I'm going to try and dive it right here. See if we can see some snappers down there by the dock. Yeah, I'm down under the dock now. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, there's lots of them under there. God, this thing is tricky. You have to just keep it moving in order for it to be stable. It'd be nice if it had a little bit better stabilization when it was under there, but... I think that just is going to come with practice but we are right down there in the elements with the snappers guys all right guys so my first test flight in regular conditions yeah we worked out i'm just concerned about this cable eh, that's good it's not anywhere near the motor so sweet baby that was awesome seeing those fish down there i can't wait to see it full screen on my computer so you guys can see back there the cord floats on the water it keeps it from getting tangled just want to still want to make sure i don't get it in the electric motor here but Guys, this is awesome for exploration. I love it. So I'm going to head over. There's a bridge over here. I'm going to head over by the bridge. And uh, let's dive down around there and see what we can find over there. Should be able to just pull all this cord in here. Yeah. Of course, it's wanting to come in on the other side of the kayak. Nice power vision. Awesome. 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 So I didn't hook it up, guys, but right here you can pop this off. And there's a sonar depth recorder fish finder. Little ball like that. It's You just put it in there and you screw it in. And uh, it works as a fish finder. You got this thing running around out there, too. Um, it's got a little spot right here. It's got a magnet that you can stick on there. Comes with a magnet. You tie a piece of line around there. You send the drone out with your fishing line and your bait. And then you push a button and it releases the magnet in the spot that you want to fish. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's head over to, uh, let's head over to the bridge. <laughs> All right, guys. Where this black boat is right here the other day, there were a bunch of sheep's head around that dock. So... I'm going to not even go up by the dock. I'm just going to spot lock out away from it. We're going to send the drone up there. See if we can see some sheep's head.
that went a lot better than I thought it would using the Autopilot 120 um, solo, doing it by myself. I mean, ideally, take this thing offshore in a boat and go down and explore some wrecks or some hard bottom and see what all is down there. Drop this thing over. It's got virtual reality goggles, right? You put the goggles on, you slide the phone inside, and you can actually see the view that the camera is seeing. So if you were offshore, those goggles would block out all sunlight. You're not going to know where the drone is anyway because you're so deep, right? Um, oh, be perfect, guys. So uh, let me just go over some of the features of this, right? It's got the low, medium, and high setting. 4K camera. I was recording in 1080p, 30 frames per second. Obviously, you can adjust the camera settings. You can turn the lights on, turn the lights off, and you can dive down like 100 feet with this thing. So that, that's basically it. Let's head back to the house. I'll show you the hard shell case that it comes in. Very nice carrying case. You'd be able to take this with you traveling all over the world if you wanted to. So, all right, guys, let's do it. I'm back at the house. Here's how we get the videos off the drone. You connect the Wi-Fi to the drone. Then you connect your laptop to the Wi-Fi with a password. You have to download a program. It's called Power View. And uh, once you're connected to the Wi-Fi, you just click on Power View and it will open up the program. It'll have your pictures in there or your videos that you've taken. And then you can, I just select it all and I exported them to a particular place on my computer. All right, guys, so this drone comes in a nice hard shell case. I'm going to measure it. It's about 21 long, 14, 15 inches wide. And it's about 11 inches high. It's actually made like luggage. You can see you got wheels here. And you've also got a handle that it extends out here as well. You got a combination lock on here. But let's open this up. It has really, really nice packing. All right, guys. So inside we got the drone here. This is our Wi-Fi connection that connects to the, the cable. This is for our cell phone, or you can actually use a tablet with this. It'll extend out and you can use a tablet. Um, this is a little magnetic thing that you'd put on the bottom if you want to uh, drop a fishing line. You can wrap a fishing line around it, and it has a little release button that you push, and it'll release it. Now let's take a look on this side over here. Uh, these are our VR goggles. You can put your cell phone in there and put that on in a virtual reality effect. This is our cord. This is our charging cord over here. We've got a sonar depth finder that screws on there, a fish finder. And then you can actually see if there are any fish down there and how deep the water is on your, it integrates with your cell phone. And then we've got our remote control nicely packed in here. So that's what's going on with a hard shell case. Uh, very protective. <laughs> Let me share some thoughts with you as a first time user of the Power Vision. I'll put links in the description area. Thanks, Power Vision, for sending this over to me. This is really going to be a nice asset to the channel, a great addition. First off, guys, there are a lot of connections that have to happen to make this work. You got a Wi Fi transmitter, you've got your main cord. This connects to this, then the main cord connects to the drone right and then you've got your remote control you have to turn your remote control on your phone you have to download an app your phone has to connect to the wi-fi and then you open up the app and when you do that you're able to see in real time what's happening with the camera on the drone so as far as stabilization I did pretty good for my first time around, right? Give myself a pat on the back. But here's the thing. I think I had the wrong setting on the uh, the drone. This thing actually has a setting so that when you dive it down and it levels off, it will stay at that depth. You don't have to manually operate it to keep it at that depth. And I don't think I had that on because every time I would kind of like release the controls, the drone would just... Yeah, the cam. Anyway, I spared you guys from getting really, really seasick in this video, but I am looking forward to taking this to the Rad Reef in the crusty old boat on a nice, calm, clear water day and do some exploration and see what the heck is going down there. Anyway, look, unfortunately, we've had red tide that has decimated our area, so I don't even know if there'll be any fish on the Rad Reef or the crusty old boat. So I'm very pleased so far with my first use guys i love 
underwater footage. So anyway, if you enjoyed this video, thumbs up or appreciate it. And uh, subscribe, click the bell, set your notifications, and everybody get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya! Subscribe or I'll send this guy out to your next fishing adventure.